to upload and download files on WarServers.net is really easy. All you need is to go to your service and take this information here. What we're going to do instead of using the file manager, as you can only upload or download one file at a time, or well you can download more than one file at a time, but you can only upload it once at a time using this upload. What we're going to do is download a program called FileZilla. This is a free program you can download off a website. This is what it looks like. So first thing we're going to do is enter the information that we need. So under host we're going to put the IP address of the server. Take that, copy it and you can just paste it straight in there. The username is the username here. This is how you log into the panel. So I'm simply going to be using demo. And the password for the demo account is demo. You then click quick connect and there you go. It's connecting and there you go. So each server has a different number. Here we're on 2627. So inside of service directory we're going to go to 627. The other service uh, folders are the other games that you have rented from us. As you can see we have all the files here. If you want to upload a file, so we're going to upload a we've got this random in image just off the desktop and uploading it. There you go. Now your image is on the server. If this is a plugin like MineQuery, you just restart the server and it will run. To edit a file, we just go to a file that we can easily know how to edit, so the txt file, click view slash edit, and it will open up in a notepad, or if you se if you selected under the program to open it up with, it will open up with that. So we can add an IP address, let's add 5.5.5.5, five 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 obviously that's just a real IP address. You then have to save it, so save and exit that. File has been changed. This is because it's saved onto your computer but not saved onto the server. So you want to click yes to that. And now it's uploaded onto the server. We can view it again. Discard and view. And there you go. It's been saved onto the server. That's the basic use of the file transfer protocol on warservers.net.